Hey guys, I just got off of recording a video about the ranking factors uh, on Google, and if you didn't see that video, you should probably check it out. But in this video, I don't want to talk about ranking factors. What I do want to talk about is why AI content will continue to rank in the future on Google. And I'm going to preface this by saying not just AI content, but a mix between AI and human based outputs. Uh, for example, this blog here was mostly written by AI, but I did, you know, have my human input in here. I maybe tweaked up a, a few sentences, uh, added a few images, uh, backlinked a few links, things like that. The reason why this matters and the reason why this is important is because there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of fear and uncertainty in the SEO blogging space where you have some SEOs and some bloggers and some Google writers uh, or uh, people who, you know, essentially get their traffic from Google believe that one day Google will develop some sort of AI within their algorithm that will automatically cancel your website out uh, if you happen to be using AI to write your articles. And I really don't believe this is going to be the case. In fact, it would not be logical for Google to do this, right? And I'm, I'm speaking from a logic-based perspective. And think about it this way. If you're a business that does one thing and it charges people for advertising. Now, Google makes their money in different ways, but probably their biggest business is their advertising. So if you're not familiar, there's something called Google. Here, let me show you. Google AdWords. Okay. And Google AdWords, what it does is as an advertiser, let's just say I have a clothing brand, I can take my clothing and run ads for certain keywords. So let's take the keyword lion shirt. Okay. There is, let's just say 5,000 people that search for the keyword lion shirt every month. Well, this section right here that says sponsored, these are ads, okay? These are advertisements. And I can pay to have my lion shirt appear right here amongst the other lion shirts on Google. And these are ads. This is not SEO. This section right here is not SEO. These are ads. And Google makes a bulk of their money running ads for people. Now, the reason why Google is able to run ads and become actually profitable as an organization is because their SEO, uh, their, their Google ranking factors, their, their algorithm, right, which is right here, right, that controls who's first, who's second, who's third, over the whole entire internet, not just for this keyword, but all the keywords in existence, is so accurate and so fine-tuned that you as a reader as a Google user, you never have to go to page two anymore. You never have to go to page three. You're never going to have to switch over, well, at the time, you never had to switch over to Bing to check things out or Yahoo, right? I remember in a time where Yahoo was the number one search engine. I remember a time where Bing was a very strong search engine, but now it's been Google and it's been Google for a long time now. But the point here is, and the, and the thing that I want to say is, that's how Google makes their money. They provide a service for free to users. And they get very good at this service that they're providing to the point where business owners say, I want to pay you to show my stuff. And they have sections for those, those sponsored posts, right? Those sponsored ads. And the reason why they can charge what they charge is because there is so many people that search every single month. For example, when Google was less well-known in the very beginning when they released their AdWords program, to pay for a click was a fraction of a penny. To, to put that into consideration, right? Now, if I pay for a click, I might have to pay two, three, four, five, six, ten dollars $10 a click, right? Back then, when I was advertising, you could pay a fraction of a penny to advertise. In fact, my good friend was one of the very first people that started advertising on Google. And he was much older than me at the time. And uh, he was the very first person. And he said when he started paying for ads on Google, he was able to make like $40,000 a day just off of like maybe like $100 ad spend. Because what he was doing is he was reaching so many people with fractions of a, of a penny just 
the cost of a you know for for a cost of a click. So imagine with one penny how many clicks you can receive. It's a lot. So anyways, the point here is is that that's how Google makes their money, and Google is not going to penalize a better written content simply because it was written by AI. You understand what I'm saying? Because what Google is, is they don't care about who written the article. They care about what the article is, what the content is, not who wrote it, right? Because the content is what drives the users. It's not who wrote the content. Does that make sense? It's the quality of the content. So for example, if you were to see a, a picture, okay, if you were to see two images, two pictures, and let's not say anything here, but let's say like a picture of nature, a picture of art, a picture of whatever. If you saw two pictures, let's just say one was pixelated, one was ugly, and one was beautiful and attractive and, and was done the right way, right? You would sit here and say the one that's done the right way, the attractive one is better. I like it better. I'm willing to spend more on it. It looks more attractive to me. As opposed to the pixelated ugly one, you're going to say, no, this one doesn't look good. I would never pay for this. And the reason why you would say that is because of the image, the content itself. You're not concerned with who created it. You're not concerned with who made it. You don't care. What you care about is the image itself. And Google is the same way, at least in my belief. My belief is that people who use AI will not be penalized solely because they're using AI. In fact, that is um, uh, not discriminatory, but it's not logical. It's not even, it doesn't even make sense to do that if you're a Google. But what makes sense is to provide higher ranking for better content. That's all it is. And so your article is in competition with all the other articles. If you think that, you know, by you neglecting AI and not using AI that you're going to sort of rank higher, you're you're fooling yourself. That's not that's not true. You know, because what's going to happen is is that AI is eventually going to get to the point where it can produce better articles than we ever could. You know, if AI eventually is going to be able to produce human surgeries on people, it's going to be able to write better articles than we are. So the point here is is that Google, I don't think, has any kind of uh, negative emotion or any kind of uh, bias against this. In fact, what they're looking for is the best content. But the point here is, is that why a lot of people's AI articles don't get ranked very well is because they don't mix the human element into it. They don't format it correctly. They don't have the right images. They don't do the right backlinks. They don't do a lot of the behind the scenes work that you have to do to a blog post that make it better. They don't understand the reader's uh, mindset and what the reader needs to see in the article so that the questions are answered. They don't understand the ranking factors. There's a lot of intricacies that go into it. Now, I'm not saying that to make you fear away or run away from blocking. In fact, it's the total opposite. I want to be able to highlight how effective AI is to help you get the job done much, much faster. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace out. Bye.